Hey, what's going on? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Logic marked the end of his relationship with Def Jam in June with the release of his final album on the label. Appearing on the latest episode of Logan Paul's Impulsive Podcast, the Maryland rapper revealed he recorded Vinyl Days in under two weeks so he could get out of his contract as soon as possible. But that doesn't mean he didn't put his all into the music. What is the most exciting thing about this album? Because, dude, coming back from retirement, people are going to have their eyes on it. 100%. Yeah. What is your scariest part of releasing it and your and your favorite part of releasing it? I made the album in 12 days so I could get off Def Jam. That's my favorite part. I'm off Damn, Def Jam. Damn, so you just threw that out there like that. Yeah, 100%, bro. I made the album so that I could leave. And guess what? I left him with some of the dopest shit I could give him. It's not like I just wiped my ass. Like, what am I excited? I'm excited to be independent. I'm excited to to do my thing, and I'm really happy to know that I've represented, and Loki was the face of a label, one of the illest hip-hop labels of all time, and that I sold millions and millions of records and gave them billions and billions of streams, and and that it was a good partnership, you know what I mean? And I'm, I, I couldn't be happier to get the fuck out. <laughs> Between 2014 and 2022, Logic released seven albums on Def Jam, Under Pressure, The Incredible True Story, Everybody, YSIV, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, No Pressure, and Vinyl Days, along with his Bobby Tarantino mixtape trilogy. But the 32-year-old was publicly critical of the label over the years, calling them out for not paying his collaborators and the way they handled his releases. At Def Jam, can you please pay my friends and musicians that have made my albums great, this is ridiculous at this point, he said in October 2020. I shouldn't be getting calls from close friends of my in the middle of dinner with my wife about how you haven't paid them from the budget you've given me for this album. Following the release of Vinyl Days, Logic announced he signed a new deal with BMG Rights Management earlier in July. There's a lot of BS in the music industry. I'm just glad to move on to a place where I can be independent and respected as an artist and feel like I'm in control of my career. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.